And happening right now, a demonstration outside the Duval County Public School building on the South Bank. It's about the ongoing debate whether to rebrand nine local schools named after controversial figures. News 4 Jacks reporter Joe McLean joins us live from the district headquarters now. Joe. Right, and this is ongoing right now. Many of the same people that you just saw in Jim Piggott's story, well, now they're here ahead of this school board meeting. I'll step off the this, this shot so you can see. This is actually two separate protests going on, separated by a line of orange cones. You can tell on one side, uh, a, a, a bunch of people calling for the names of these schools to be changed. And then on the other side, uh, just two people calling for the names to uh, remain the same. They're sort of in a shouting match right now. And also you see these folks in the white vests labeled peacekeepers. I asked them why they came out. They said, well, they're an organization of volunteers. They have a shared Facebook group. And anytime there are counter protests going on, they say they show up to de-escalate any tension or contention to make sure uh, everything stays uh, peaceful. Right now, it's obviously a shouting match right now, but uh, uh, the goal is to lobby the Duval County School Board for or against uh, changing the names of these, these schools. Now, just to give you a reminder of where we are in the process, the final four schools are doing their community balloting. That goes until Friday. After that, on May 13th, the schools are going to calculate their results. On May 17th, the ballot results are going to go to Superintendent Diana Green. And then before the June meeting, Green, she's going to make her recommendations to the DCPS school board. Then in the June meeting of the DCPS uh, school board, they will make a final decision on whether or not to rename these nine schools. Again, the uh, district is, uh, the board is about to meet at six o'clock, but the school name change is not even on the agenda. That tells you the level of interest here that they're continually taking any time they can of getting exposure to the DCPS school board uh, to, to make sure their voice is heard. Reporting live tonight, Joe McLean, Channel 4, the local station.